Hello SimHub users. In this video we're going to take a look at creating leaderboards. Creating leaderboards is not the most intuitive process in Dash Studio, but once you create your first, it will be easy to create them in the future. The leaderboard components actually live inside of the quick texts. And here is a list of all of the different elements that you could put on each row of your leaderboard. We'll just put three elements in our leaderboard rows. We'll have the opponent position, the opponent name, and the opponent gap. So these go on your dashboard like anything else. We'll start with the opponent position because that will be the leftmost element. And then we'll add the opponent name. I'll move that over. We'll show boxes for the time being. And I will put in the opponent delta. Great, now let's arrange these a bit nicer. So let's, uh, let's give all of these the same rough height. Good, now all of these are the same height and let's align their tops. And now these are all aligned left to right correctly. So if I want to move these now, I'll just use the left and the width. Okay, so here is a simple row in my leaderboard. But the magic happens when we repeat this, because you don't want just one row in your leaderboard, you want several. And obviously the smaller your font is, the more you can fit. We'll fit maybe 10 in ours the way that I have it currently laid out. The magic happens when we create a new layer. And so we'll call this layer leaderboard row. And we will drag each of these elements into our leaderboard row container. So now there's three in there. And a property of these layers or containers is that we can repeat them. The number of repetitions is going to be how many of them there are. So you can see as I up this, let's do 10. And then the top offset, this is going to be how much offset they are from each other. So you can see here we're getting into the area of them overlapping and this is, is a bit too much. So. Maybe I'll see what, uh, what fits nicely. There we go, we'll, we'll go with 28, and that won't give me any overlap. Let's modify a few properties of these leaderboard elements, starting with the opponent name. I don't want this center justified. I'd rather have this left justified, like that. And for my numbers, I'd rather have those right justified, like so. And also for the deltas, I want that to be right justified. And with respect to the format here, format is one of the properties for this delta. By default, it's going to show me two decimal places. And you might be thinking, well, why don't we just always use the one that shows the most decimal places? Sometimes that makes sense, like lap times, where truly you are concerned with thousandths of a second. But when it comes to the deltas on the leaderboard, you might be sufficient with the hundredths or even the tenths here because knowing it down to the thousandths might not really help you make any better decisions when you're racing. We'll put this in the tenths. And like always, this is not the most attractive leaderboard here, but I'm just giving you the mechanics of how it works. We're actually at a stage now where we can test this. I'll save my dashboard and I will run it and I'll bring up my replay telemetry. And here we are at about the midway point through the race and you can see the leaderboard with those deltas. Mads is in the lead with second place 2.1 seconds behind him. And that's the basic concepts behind creating a leaderboard in Dash Studio.